Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Synth Anthology 3 from UVI. Now it will work in uh, UVI Workstation, uh, uh, the, the free player, the free one. Uh, also works in Falcon, uh, which is very cool. Um, what is it? Well, it's a 132 analog digital PCM vintage to modern synths um 132 the sampling is mind-boggling you can sort by different things here we're gonna look at all the machines in just a sec um you can go and uh, check it out here these are look at look 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 look, look. look at all them you get it's mind-boggling the sampling that's gone into this absolutely incredible there's a fantastic video on youtube with the team um, you know, with all this gear, I mean, it's just spectacular stuff. But, you know, none of this really matters unless it sounds awesome. And, of course, it does sound awesome. It was recorded with vintage gear, the modern gear, all the classic stuff. Just brilliant stuff. Right, so look at this. We're going to go into this sorted by machine first. Um, so, you, But you can search by categories. But if we open this here, you will see... Uh, it's in alphabetical order and we start with the access virus now all we need to do to see all the sa all the like programs that they programmed in they've sampled in sort of thing is hit on this and then you'll see these are all the ones that they sampled in from um the virus c and then if we go up again we can do it with say like say the super rare releases fusion you can see but we're going to go through absolutely tons of these sounds i'm also going to tell you how all this works as well which is means you can tweak your sounds as much as you like and um, we're going to start with this sound which was from the fairlight cmi <laughs> So you may notice you have this main and you have a sub. The sub isn't a sub oscillator, if you like. It's another oscillator that you can add to with this one. So if I bring this in now, you can change the volume of this, the panning, but you can also change out the waveform. So you have general waveforms here. You could swap to say this one. Just turn the volume down for that, or we can just switch it off. We we'll go to analog, choose maybe this one um, from there. And if you want to make any adjustments to anything, you'll see you've got your amp here and your filters. You've got amp envelope, filter envelope, you've got cut off, resonance, etc. etc. for the main screen, but you've also got exactly the same control for. subsection as well so tons of control on that page let's have a look at the edit page get all this out of the way before we do the you know sound test this is cool, alternate stereo. So if you're listening through headphones, each note I play, even if it's one single note like this C3 here, it will swap between the left and right pan. You can obviously chill its beans. <laughs> but when you're playing chords, that makes a, 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 a it spread massively. I think that's amazing. <laughs> this is your mod wheel, you, what you can set your mod wheel to do. And then unison, let's... Step is very cool. If we sit, it, let's step. It's like a step sequencer, but for the you know for the volume, the filter, the or the resonance, the drive. So switch. 
to increase the steps and we can draw some of our own in and here but a delay which is lovely smoothing and a rise and you have it the same for the sub as well as you wanted to put it onto the sub so you cool it LFO, right, hang on, so let's turn a step off, so we're back to a straightforward sound. <clears throat> let's go to the low frequency oscillator now. You have four uh, waveforms, sam sample and hold, uh, square, I think it's a sawtooth and sign. And then again for the filter, the pitch or the pan, so pitch is dead obvious to hear. You could dial in that kind of really like lo-fi wobble tape. You can have no trigger or re-trigger legato. Then you have your effects section, your EQ, your spark verb. Chorus, chorus. An overdrive. Big crusher. And of course, a delay and a phaser. Lovely. So there you go. Basically, oh, you have an arpeggiator as well. The arpeggiators are actually super, super, super duper clever. You have an arpeggiator, an independent arpeggiator for the main. Let's make some adjustments to this. Let's turn the phaser off and the chorus. And a bit crush. And let's reduce the spark verb in the mix a little bit. Let's go to the harp. And before we go any further, let's turn on the sub as well. Let's go back, let's turn the volume down a little so you can hear the sub. So let's turn the sub on and set the sub to uh, up and down. But now we can change the speed, so we could have the speed on the subset to say a quarter, and the speed, we'll leave the speed like that, it's 116, but we can change the steps, so let's increase the steps for the sub to eight, and let's put in a few more of these. <laughs> is that we also have chord mode so we don't want to go too mad with that so if we take some of that out we can go gating let's increase the steps to 16 let's kind of do um almost a, a gate type sequence here but don't forget in the sub oscillator we've still got our up and down going on Okay, so you can see you have uh, quite a lot of control over your sound, uh, over your sampled sound, uh, including your ADSR, exactly. And but it's now that the, the the fun thing is is checking these out because it's just a, a huge look. We've got everything in here: vintage, modern, digital, analog, PCM, vector. Uh, oh. But you've, it's all the rare stuff that they've managed to get hold of as well. And you've seen they've got all this gear. 
it's it's the genuine stuff uh, that they have. Um, I mean, we could go with uh, we've got Studio Logic, we've got the Waldorf Q, the Quantum. Uh, let's have a look at that. Let's let's see some of these. Let's open it up there. So we have uh, some of these in here. Let's open this. And quantum sound. So guys, I'm going to turn the microphone down now and just literally blast through tons and tons of these uh, presets because uh, the sound is what you want to hear, I guess, but you now know how to make the actual... Uh, changes and you'll, you can see how this works same controls for the for the sub oscillator which isn't base sub it's anything you want it to be uh anyway so let's do this i'll turn the microphone down now for a bit and then we can just crack on
Thank you.
I mean, obviously we haven't got time to go through every single sound or ev we haven't got time to go through every single synth I mean this is rare stuff you know that they've managed to get hold of let's see we've got DSI Prophet 6 let's see I 
I mean, have you noticed if you've been listening with headphones the depth of some of these basses is astounding I don't even, it's a dot com modular, I have no clue. <laughs> there you go, that's what it is.
Might have to do this video in two parts to get through all the other stuff. I mean, there's so much, the, the, there's so much vintage stuff in here. I mean, it's just, it's just insane. Look, I mean, look, you got the Novation Peaks, but obviously not vintage. That's modern. Uh, subsequent, 
Let's have a look at that. So yeah, I mean, obviously it's got the Moog sound because it's sampled. But... cool stuff in here uh, let's see ppg Ooh. oh but that's rare longer guys because otherwise we'll be here all night let's see what we've got oh yeah you see we've even got um God, everything <laughs> the op1 let's see Like I said at the beginning, you're not you don't have to like trawl through every single instrument like this if you're looking for a particular time and look at all the instruments. We've got we've got phantom in there, look. 
Um, you can categorize as well. So say you wanted to say, I don't know, a vector synthesis, and you wanted it to be like uh, polysynth, there's a few in it, oh, there's quite a lot in here, look. So we could just choose uh, this one here, and you can see it's a wave station sound. for atmosphere or ethereal that is in vector synthesis sort of thing or we could look at uh, animated and we've got arpeggiated motion and sequence what sequence try this Guys, guys, I am going to go now. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, it's been a blast doing this uh, big sound test for Synth Anthology 3. Uh, if anyone's actually sat through the whole thing, congratulations, you've done really well. I don't really expect people to do that, but to skip forward to certain sections or whatever. So that's why all the stuff, all the tutorial part and how it works was at the very beginning, and then we just got into the sounds. Uh, like I said, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron, help what me and Joe do here at Sound Test Room. And uh, like I said, bless you all. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Ta-ra, Synth Anthology 3 from UVI. Ta-ra.